In the root of vid project there is a special folder called public. And this is the folder where we can store all our static assets. But of course, as we have already seen, static assets can be stored in different directories, such as source. So what's special about this public folder then? And the thing is that all static files stored within public folder, they cannot be referenced in our source files. For example, we cannot import them like this, as we are importing javascript.svg file in here. So that means that vid does not process all those files that are stored within public folder. Let's see an example. I'm going to add one more image tag in here and a reference image from public folder with the name vid.svg. So at this point our page shows two different images. One image was imported directly in our source file and browser has requested the module which exports pass to the first image javascript.svg. This is the image which was referenced from within our source file. So we manually imported this image as a ECMAScript module. But if we take a look at another image and the way how this image was fetched, we will see that in this case browser has requested this image directly by its name as a normal static file. And so whenever we want some static assets to be accessible as normal static files, so we can reference them by name, we have to place such files within special public folder in vid project. And by the way, all the files that we will store within special public folder, they cannot be referenced from within source code, meaning that we cannot import them directly as ECMAScript modules from within JavaScript code. And all files that are located within public folder, they will not be processed by vid during the build. So for example, if I'm going to try to build this project right now by running npm run build in the terminal, among the build assets in here, I'm going to see that JavaScript image, which we referenced in the source code. So it, while importing this image, has made some transformations to it and appended random hash to its name. But in this output, we don't actually see another image with the name vid.svg, which we have placed into public folder and referenced in HTML file. And that means vid hasn't done any transformations to vid.svg image. So what it did instead is it took this image from the public folder and copied it into dist folder. And this dist folder was generated by running npm run build command. So this is the folder where vid places all build files of our project. For example, we want public folder to be renamed on build folder. For such cases, vid provides us with another option that we can add into the vid config.svg called public dir. And in here we specify desired folder name for static assets. I'm going to specify build. Of course, after this, I also have to rename public folder on build. And let's try to run the build again by running npm run build in the terminal. As we can see this time, build was also finished successfully and that static file vid.svg was successfully copied from the build folder into our dist folder with the build project. So that means that vid has recognized new name for our static folder build. And we are still able to reference our static file vid svg from the source code. So let's remove that option public dir as well as folder with a build project dist. And let's rename folder with static files back to public. And just to make sure that we haven't broken anything, Let's run the build command again and see if project will be built successfully. As we can see, nothing was broken and build still works. And besides these commands npm run dev to run development server and npm run build to build a project for production. Initially, it also defines another command called preview, which is going to run simple static server. And this server is mainly used to serve folder with build project files. And this way we can check how our project is going to behave by using production build files in the production-like environment. So now that we have already built the project and generated this folder, we can run this npm run preview command to run static server inside of that dist folder. Let's do so by running npm run preview. As we can see, this static server was run on port 4173 and by opening up this address in the browser 
we don't see any visual changes, our project still looks like in the development mode. But in fact, if we will take a look at the request which fetches main JavaScript file, we are not going to see any ECMAScript import statements in here. Because during the production build, Vit has actually taken all the modules and bundled them within one JavaScript file. And this resulting JavaScript file was fetched in one go in the browser. And this is how we can run simple static server to serve all the files from the build folder. Now let's go back, stop this static server and instead run development server by running npm run dev. And since we don't need the folder with the build project anymore, let's remove it and finish this lesson.